Perks doesn't hang out with us anymore, bro. Only when the podcast is on. Break a leg. Woo! Break two legs. Well, Break three. your third leg, Croaks. <laughs> Just hold on to that. As always, welcome back. You know what that sound means. It means another installment of the 257 Collective Podcast. It's podcast episode number 26. The boys were just saying just then, break a leg. I'll tell you a little fun fact. The reason they say break a leg is because it's a, it's a saying in show business and because they want you to make the cast, the cast of the show. So go out there and break a leg. There you go. Bit of fun fact there just to start, start off the, the podcast. <laughs> but as well always, done, I am once again joined by my two very best friends, Carolyn J. Ponga, Connor Willie Watts. What's going on, gentlemen? Willie Watts. How's he's going? We're good, we're good, good. We're good. I just want to say, mate, that was a very smooth start to the, to the show, podcast, what, to the whatever yep. you want to call it. Epi- show, episode, maybe, now that we're on KO. 26, now on KO. As you, for those that are watching, um, now on KO. Might be watching on KO. There you go. Connor, how are you? You got the sunnies on. It's nine o'clock at night. Yeah. St- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a bike coming up, boys. Talk I'm on us. holiday mode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do, mate. I, I do. got my Byron Bay shirt on. Yep. So for all our Miami Vice sunnies on, for all our Byron Bay listeners, look out. Yeah. Because there's a storm coming. Nah. Yeah, when this comes out, you'll be in Byron. I know. Three, yeah, I know. three o'clock on a Tuesday in Byron. Where yeah. do you hope to be? Uh, three o'clock Tuesday. Um, hopefully at the beachy, maybe. Oh. The beachy. A oh, oh, Tuesday, though. I don't know. The weather's Tuesday, not going to be yeah. great. Uh, we're going to go up there. We're going to do a little bit of training as well. Make yeah, sure, make yeah. sure we get that in. So that's maybe, important. It's ma- very important. Maybe on the way home from some training, uh, <laughs> looking at looking at our options, where to eat. Professionals, yes, sir. Professionals. Hey, um, boys, good win on the weekend. Congratulations, KP. You had to miss out again because of an injury. Connor had a good game again, mate. Congrats. <laughs> what? Yeah, was no, that was nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you want me to say? No, I, I thought that was really nice. I well, thought you were going to take the piss. No, I, I was waiting. I know, I know it actually gets you down. I'm not going to take the piss. It out does of that. get down about it. I'm not going to take the piss out of that. I know what nah. it's like to miss footy. I know what it's like. What did you I say? Didn't play any last year? Didn't play any. First and person to get an injury or something? No, <laughs> that's what he did say. <laughs> but hey, hey, we won't we won't touch on that. We won't I did say that because you had the shit. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the yeah, win. Let's talk mate. about the win. Good yeah. ones. Yeah, it was an ugly game. It was one of those games I felt like the whole time. We were in control. Like yeah. we, we even in the first half, the try they scored was off an intercept. So I feel like we dominated field position. Our defense was heaps better, but it was so cold out there and just like the ball was moving a heap and there was a lot of errors and it was just a really messy game. But at least for us, um, we showed some resilience and, you know, some like standout performances from guys like Jaden Braley, um, that Scott Sack- Sattler, that's what he's calling himself last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, I heard him saying that. He's calling yeah. me Scotty boys. That's what he was, t- he was saying that to me. He was going, because he calls me Cheech. He was saying, Cheech, uh, don't call me that no more. Scotty. Scotty now. Yeah. Yeah. SS. Yeah. He was saying, call him the SS Falcon. <laughs> the, the Scott Sattler Falcon. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Got weird. <laughs> Got very weird. He's yeah. got my M brows. Nah, he's one of the best. He, um, he <sighs> is very... I thought he was going to be a very big stiff when he first yeah. came to the club. But and he kind of No, was, he is a stiff. Is, he is a stiff, yeah. but he's like a really he's lovable good. and likable yeah. stiff. I love he's him. He's so funny at the moment. I know, he he's is. He's so funny. But low key, like he doesn't try to be funny. It's just <laughs> him. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's a good man. Though. He always makes me laugh. Um, boys, fans, shout out. I've got two. And he, did you bring one? No. no well, I was hoping we'd have a live audience. We don't have that live audience. We're oh. going to have a few of the boys sitting here this, this time around, but they are. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Jay, the camera. Our, our, guy. our camera guy, head of our visualization. Guy, every single time. I've got a Jay as well, Jay Kirk. Met him last night. Yeah. When I walked into the cane bay, he was just real genuine. So good on you, Jay. And oh, Josh yeah. Turner. Yeah, I've seen What are you I've smiling for? No, no, I've seen no, no. I was just thinking about- How'd you go? Can I just quickly jump in here? I just like, Croaks is a bit of a celebrity now. No, right? I'm not. That's what no, I was going to say. Shut you up. are. That's what I was straight Shut up going to say. I was straight up going to say. And that's- So I- well, the boys after a win, well deserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're and out, we're we out and about. And you cup, had a cup out a draw against yeah. a very good side, and we're happy with that. You take one point over none. Yeah. So the boys deserve to go out. Then yeah. you deserve to have a drink, party, blah blah. blah. I was sober, so I was more sort of. I was watching, observing, and I had a, had a a few people come up to me and say, "Like we're fans of the podcast. Where's Croaks?" <laughs> That's yeah, not, that's a true. Lot, that's true. true. That's, that's a lot. True. Where's Where's Croaks? That's I'm a, just thinking. How many? This what, is, one One person. Uh, oh, man, I lost count after about three. So, um, <laughs> three. So a few. And a few. he looks busy too. Hey, busy. Yeah, mm. and that was a good night. Yeah, it was a good night. Couple wins. So you 
It was cup, how, was, how would you sum up the cup? It was a tough game. There was no try scored in the second half. There was a lot of back and forth. Conditions were pretty rank. Um, there was only two penalty goals. There was four field goal attempts in the last six minutes. Wow. Wow. One went through. You reckon you could have slotted one? From them. But blocked. But blockers, one eh? One of their blockers grabbed one of our blokes. And then the, there was one with about 20 seconds to go off them. And then um, hit one of our blokes, floated, hit the post, hit the hit the crossbar. I didn't so realise we almost we could have lost, nearly lost our game on the weekend. Like, I thought we were always going to win. And then they went for that. Um, Drop goal. Yeah. I was like, the field goal. Yeah. yeah Brown's young, blocked it. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Um, on today's episode, we're actually going to talk a little bit more footy, which is something that we don't usually do. We're going to talk. Well, this is getting released on Tuesday, so it's um, well, it's Sunday. Connor will be I, yeah, up. yeah, yeah. It's Sunday. I actually Connor's stuffed up. Holidays. I stuffed up because I thought the Origin was going to be on Wednesday, but it's actually next Sunday. But we're going to do a couple of Origin predictions anyway. We're going to yep. talk a bit of footy. Yep. Um, we, got, we got the FWPs, Queensland weekly DMs, plus. top threes, um, and a bit of audience advice. But before that, Connor wanted to touch on something. Today is Sunday. It it is the f- it is the commencement. No, sorry, it's the, the end. F- the end of Men's Mental Health Week. Yeah. So we thought we'd we'd say our piece. Connor, you want to start off? Yeah, I just thought it would be good to touch on. It's obviously something that affects. I mean, us three here uh, affects yeah. Men, everyone. Men, yeah, everyone, every every bloke out there, and um, you know, I just thought it'd be good if we could give a little piece on how we deal with mental health and like some things that we've been through. Obviously, um, Kalen could probably talk for it at the moment. He's going through an injury. That's probably been the biggest things that I've suffered in my life as far yeah. as um, mental health and and being down in the dumps, especially last year with I uh, did my syndesmosis in round three come back from that um, and then played two weeks and then did my Achilles a week after. So um, played like three games of footy last year and yeah, it really, really affected me. Um, but one thing that I found that, that really helped was just leaning on the support of my, my friends and family. Um, you guys were immense. I remember like after I did my Achilles, me and Crokes were laying in my room <laughs> listening yeah, to yeah. listen to XX Tentacation. <laughs> it's probably, his name? Yeah, Tentacium. It's probably it's probably the worst coping mechanism human Jews, eh? Is when we get sad, we listen and watch things that make us sad. Yes, exactly. Like when I used to get sad, I'd listen to sad songs. Yeah. That's that's not good <laughs> yeah. for you. But you know what the thing about that is? I reckon like listening to him and this is what I found was listening to his lyrics he was in a way worse headspace than yeah, I was. Yeah. So actually thinking like, oh, I'm sad, but I'm not as sad as this guy is. Yeah, the grass is greener, isn't it? Exactly. KP, you want to touch on it? Yeah. Um, Feel free to get deep, man. I'm going through a little bit. At the, oh, a little bit. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Injuries suck. Uh, you don't realise how bad they are, how much they affect you until you, you've got one. Um, but I think, yeah, for anyone that's listening um, or people that are fans of <clears throat> us as, as athletes, um, I think it's important that we let you know or people know that it's okay to talk um, about how you're feeling. I think that's the biggest way to get over things. That's definitely something ha- that's helped me. Um, and I reckon like when I was about 14, 15, um, a few, a couple of people took their lives, um, a couple of mates of mine. And um, yeah, I think, I don't know, you don't know why, but I think if they had someone to talk to or, you know, they were comfortable with talking, I think that could have changed things. So um, yeah, just letting people know that's okay to do that. When you boys go through something, Connor, I'll ask you this first. How do you say you're going through a bit of a rough patch? Maybe it's performance, maybe there's family trouble, stuff like that. How do you deal with it? Yeah, so firstly, I, I need to look at it like from the individual point of view. So I'll try and spend some time on myself, which is a little bit different. And that's something that I learned a lot of last year. So I, as I got injured, I um, <coughs> a good friend of ours, Cannon, um, he sort of introduced me to, I guess, my spiritual journey. It's going to get a little bit weird and deep here. No, mate, um, feel free, feel but free. Yeah, yeah, I started to read some books and listen to like some different podcasts that he sort of sent me. And um, yeah, once you, I think you need to, like happiness, it, it's all internal. So external things um, are like quick fixes uh, that don't actually help. But unless you're truly happy within yourself, um, then, then you'll never be in the end. And um, it some people be, are good at that. Some yeah, people yeah. are just naturally, I think, very in touch with who they are. Mm. Um, 
it might just be simple. Like for me, what I started doing was I just started going to the beach every morning, watch the sunrise, and I'd literally spend half an hour with myself, and I'd just sit there, and there'd be like no phone, no distractions, and I would just see where my thoughts are at. And yeah. then wherever that would take me on that journey, then I would understand where my head is at today, mm. what's what's bugging me. But because I've already like addressed it, it doesn't it doesn't need to be brought up again. Like I yep. feel like I've so nothing throughout the day is gonna come and like impact me because I've already sort of I know what's coming. I know yep. the way where my head's at and then did that it, way. Did it work? Yeah, heaps. So like I just felt like I was in a way better headspace and I was so much more centered and like things like little things just wouldn't impact me at all and yeah um I probably need to pick it up more to be honest and I have been but I don't, don't really have like I'm not having I'm not going through that injury that I am now yeah. so I know like I'm in a better headspace but I could be more committed with you know whether it's meditating yeah. um doing my breath work I'm still doing a lot of breath work but um at that point I was doing like an hour of it every morning and then just before I go to bed I'll do it heaps so that helps me heaps and then journaling as well so yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah, go on yeah, tangent here yeah. but yeah journaling is good cuz it it it's another way of just jotting down your thoughts and mm. and just addressing them cuz What about a, you Chris? It's okay. Look I'm uh, this is going to sound weird but I'm real fortunate I really I honestly I don't get upset much I, d- I, I really don't. I honestly, I don't. I like, would have said I'm one of those people too. Yeah. But you've probably noticed a shift in my mood and attitude the last six yeah. weeks. I'm real, I'm Can't fortunate. Happen. Not much stuff gets me down. Not much stuff. I did go for a little bit about eight months ago with all the footy stuff. You yep. know it. I don't have to go into detail. But um, probably family was a big one for me. I, I was playing golf with my brother. And I remember he just had me back. My older brother, he just had my back. And I was just like, oh, this is good. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't matter if all shit hits the fan because I know I've got my man right here and I had the rest of my family in that. So that was good. That's what helped me. But um, I for, think people, for people that might not have the family, you know, reach out to your mates. I'm, I was talking to a couple of boys that go down to um, Merriweather in the morning every Friday and because it was Mental Health Week, they were saying anyone who's struggling – Come and down. they don't know who to talk to. Just come down and chat with us. Yeah. We don't have to talk about mental health. Just come down and have a chat with us and it might just help you. You don't have to go there and confess how upset you are. Mm. No. You can just but go down there and sit and have a laugh and it might change your whole mood for a day and yeah. then that day turns into a week and yep. that week turns into a month then that month turns into a year. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, you're out of it and then I, you know what to do. Yeah, 100%. I definitely deal with things through other people. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. if I'm down... I like to be around people. I like to sort of not put my shit on them, but to, to some degree, not everyone. I, I mean, mate, I'll take it. <laughs> you got shit. I'll, I'll hold it for you. I'll yeah, it. Like, but that's how I. That's how I deal with things. And you know, you guys know I'm not very good at being on my own. I suck. Yeah, it. I can't <laughs> Terrible. not be. I, I can't sit in a room on my own. I'm like, moving I in like, for the week too. Yeah, so we can have everyone deals with, with things differently. Yeah. Um, and wh- however you deal with it, don't be afraid to deal with it in your in your own way. I also yeah. think. Um, like a sense of perspective too yep. is big in this because it's very easy just to get caught up in your own problems and feel like, you know, this is the worst thing ever. But sometimes if you just take a step back and look at it from a perspective of like what other people are going through or like changing your mind into say gratefulness, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're okay. grateful for and what you have, then you realise your problems aren't actually aren't as bad. maybe as bad as they seem. What's that saying if it doesn't... If it's not going to affect you in five years. Oh, if, yeah. it, if it's not going to matter in five years, don't worry about it for five minutes. Exactly. Yeah. So a little bit of that. A little Oops bit of that. A little bit of that. Don't cry over spilt milk. I've said it here before. Mm-hmm. That was good, boys. Um, so we actually wanted to talk a little bit of footy, which is something we don't usually do. We do it every now and then, but we're going to do it. Do-do. We're going to do it. To, yeah, do-do. <laughs> we're going to do it today. <laughs> um, so, boys, let's talk, about, let's talk about the new rules. How fast is the game at the moment? I Crazy. said something today. Crazy. So the Titans just got... Beat by a fair score against Manly, and I think they completed like thirty four of thirty eight sets. Yeah, in two years I've seen ago, that, that I've wins seen you that. two wins ago years ago that wins you a game. Their first Doesn't mistake, matter, their right? first Doesn't mistake was in the seventy ninth minute. I tell you the way I look at the game is the game's almost gone back to the late nineties, where in the late nineties the way you would win was you'd score more points than the opposition. And then sort of th- midway through the mid two thousands, no, no, but no, 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 no,
it's when someone has it, it's so hard to get back. <sighs> it's like a, it's like the um, snowball rolling down. You there's just not as many it. stoppages. Set pieces aren't really a big thing in our game anymore. Yeah, like um, kick for touch and get your mad sequence on. You've got to learn to adapt and transition on the run. Sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it is fast. And then you think about like they talk about people being fatigued, and now this this the head rule. Yeah, injuries yeah. like injuries. Yeah, yeah. You look at some of the clubs, mate. Some of the clubs are absolutely skittled. Mm. I know you know the poor roosters, and, mate. They're and it would be because of the speed. Yeah, like. I, I think it would have to do something with it. Like I it, think it would be. Surely, so. surely. They need to do a study into it. Yeah. They do. I don't know they how they do it. I don't know how they stuff. do it, but they, they should. Um, Let's talk about some of the form. Do, do we want to talk about let's, the one at the moment? Let, well, there's two. There's two and I can't split them. Cleary and Turbo. Who you's got? Who's got his one? Bro, honestly, tu- uh, Turbo, if he if he keeps going the way he is, <laughs> Mate, for the next 10 years, I've never seen anything he's like He's Superman. It. I've never seen anything like it. He's a superhero. His form, it's, it's literally- He's a superhero. But it's, it's like he's freaking playing against kids. I watched his game against the Titans today. Superman. And he just- He's Superman. And he just caught the ball one off and just- it was just he like ran over four in his, people. In his head, he just goes, I'm just going to score. I think and just ran hard and just scored. Like, we, I've never seen form like it. I we, honestly haven't. Me and Connor had this uh, chat the other day. It's like he's just realised I'm bigger than everyone. And I'm so much better. And, and I'm just going to be <laughs> big and run over everyone. Because he's always been a freak. Oh, like, He's always yeah, been good. Yeah. But this year, Physically it's like though, in his head, he's just like... Because even his yardage carries now. He's just running over. He don't give like, a shit. And he, he doesn't look tired. I look at him and I'm like, does, is this bloke playing? Is he playing? Because I look nostril at him. Breath. Just Not nostril sure. breath. He's like Israel Adesanya. He goes five rounds with some of the best fighters and he's just breathing into his nose. I can't, I can't get my head around nah. it. But then I look at Cleary. Cleary's smart. And Cleary's so smart. Yeah, he would go good he, in the um, Animals 13 too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've seen a guy when we were at um, the Cambridge last night and he goes to me, Bro, don't worry about them. Like, talking shit on the animals team. <laughs> Wait, I, I knew, I knew. Like the human was a smart pick, man. Like you know, he knows how to play the game. How's the tiger going to catch the ball? I said exactly, but you know, the ball. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Uh, I think he did have like a ponytail or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he come up to me and he's like, Connor's team was shit, eh? He was like, he shouldn't have picked oh, Nathan Cleary. Oh, he's he's like, like, he was like, how's Nathan Cleary going to tackle a rhino? What, so he's jumping fence, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's he's wet, telling, man. He's <laughs> wet. He's telling you one thing. I'm joking. He actually come I'm up joking. to me. He, didn't say he actually come up to me and said the boys' teams were shit. <laughs> is the best <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll get back to Cleary I'm, look mate the way he's got a game he's just got it by the string mm. I just can't I, yeah it's bizarre and now that I've I'm lucky enough to say I've played two first grade games and the speed of it is just incredible yeah. and for him to just on the run I, I know you get more with the experience I know he's played like 100 games or whatever I think he's in a team um, that's complimenting him too oh, but then in the yeah. game well I mean New South Wales is the same, but like his team, uh, it just looks like they're all on the same page. Mm. Are they and complimenting him or is he complimenting yeah. them? Well, bit of both. Bit, bit of both. Bit of both. A hundred percent both. Yeah. Whereas you look at like what Like Tom, when, he, when he's putting can, kickbacks that are dodging full, like the best fullback in the game, when he's hooking them back and all his team look like they're chasing, is that them complimenting him or is he complimenting them? Yeah. By going, look boys, I just won't kick it straight down the fullback. So I'll hook it back and that'll give you time to chase. Then we'll pin him in a corner. They also, they know. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it's much for muchness. Much for muchness. Yeah. yeah. But I just want like with Turbo, this is what yeah, I remember what I listening to the um, Hello Sport boys talking. You know, the Hello Sport yeah, yeah, podcast. The Hello Sport. Yeah, yeah, good they, on them. They jump on um, the Bloke in the Bar podcast yep. too. Big fans, Dannon. big fans. Massive Love fans. Them. Great fans. Yeah. And, uh, Vice versa, both ways. And of us, yeah, fans of them, us. we're fans of them, they're fans of us. Exactly. And uh, Denon was like, there's no way Turbo's a 40-point turnaround because they got smacked like 40 points the first few rounds. Yeah. <laughs> and then they started winning by 30 points, 40 points. Today he put 50 points on. And then that's I think Denon had to wear like a manly jersey for oh, ages. Yeah, that's, right, and, yeah. that's right. That's right. Yeah. where it's like you can see – what the, the impact that he's had on that side, yeah, you know what I mean? Because he's come from where that was, sh- that was shit. They're, they're okay, so they're a couple seasoned players, right? Cleary and Turbo, they've been around for probably four or five years. Let's talk about some of the rookies this year that have come through. Mm. Yes. Some of the young fullbacks, oh, mate. What? Right, we'll look at Reese Walsh, we'll look at Reece. Dane Laurie, and we'll look at Sam Walker. This is, he's, he's, well, he's, he's a good looking boy, that Reese Walsh. Reece, Walsh yeah, yeah Walshy. <laughs> wow. I know he had a bit of an up and down game yesterday, but he's just got glimpses but of, he was a hot the whole time. of a superstar. Of a superstar, man. one thing is good looking the whole time. So uh, you matter. you were but number one. You were number one. Sorry, we'll just we'll dive back into this soon. You were number one in the hot in the hottest one hundred. Man, hey, uh, rugby yeah. league players. He knocks you off easy, eh? <laughs> I think he easily knocks you off. Honestly, yes. Yeah. There's a lot of blokes that knock me. I don't. That's a popularity contest. Yeah. That's My man's here should have beat you. 100%. Yeah. Do you reckon? Anyway, the young t- the young boys, 
uh, coming through the league. Crazy. Yeah. But the way the, the speed of the game, I reckon, is helping a lot of those players. It's helping the smaller blokes. Yeah. Like Reese yeah. is just a smaller fella. Dane Laurie's a smaller fella. Sam Walker's obviously a smaller fella. But he's playing a different sort of style. He's sort of got the game on a string as well. And he's playing in a deflated team in a really good club. And he's just sort of taken the game by its reins. Who do you think's the best rookie in the – like this 2021, who do you think's the best I would have liked rookie? to have seen Reese from the beginning. Yep. To, to to play all these rounds. Well, because, who, who's your pick? Who's your I pick? think I I like watching Reese play. Yeah, I think like he's like speed, like all his attributes. I like I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then I guess yeah, Sam's smart. I don't well, know. well, who's your pick? Who's your pick? I would say Reese. Okay, Connor. I reckon Sam Walker will win Rookie of the Year. Yeah, but who do you? Yeah, okay. just didn't want to say me. Oh, <laughs> our, our brother Croaks. <laughs> I'm joking. The speed of the game. I'm, I'm the joking. speed of the game. Speed of the this game. Fella. I tell you Blue what. straight past I'll tell you what. He's got, he's got flair. He's got flair. <laughs> agility. Ones, like, when I was saying it. <laughs> he's <laughs> got agility. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I was looking at his wink and laugh. I was going, yeah, uh, they'll save me. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'd probably go, oh, mate, look, Walker. I can't go Walker. past him. Mm. Yeah, just yeah. for a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a half, it's just, mate, it's, it's incredible. Queenslander. We're, we're going to talk a little bit about Growing up, who were your favourite players? Mm. KP? I'll ask you this first. Did you watch much footy growing up? I didn't really. I didn't really. I watched, so I think, um, I don't do it now, but before footy games, I'd watch like highlights of, I'd watch Greg Inglis, oh. um, Jared Hayne. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd watch his, their highlights. Um, Billy Slater, like I'd watch the highlights of them. Yeah. Who, who's, who's your favourite growing up? Watching... Uh, oh well Say anyone Say anyone Because I know You're a massive fan of JT Yeah And it's because you came up In the system Yeah right? So I oh, will But watching Like before I knew JT Uncle um, Uncle um, I'd probably say Well Benji was huge Yep Um, but I'd probably say GI Yeah GI Yeah You got to play with GI I, got to, I tackled him too in a game once. He, he ran straight over me. Straight over you. Felt mad, but hectic. Yeah. It was yeah. a mad feeling. Um, but yeah, I got, to, I got to play with him. Connor? Uh, Knights fan. Massive Knights fan. So I love Joey. Yeah. Uh, Gids, Kurt Gidley. Freak. The king. You're like a Gids in a way. Yeah. I I guess I'd like. probably try and ba- like base my game off him a bit when I was younger. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm, he's, like, he's a 10 times player. I am. He's a freak. Yeah, um, he is a freak. But what I would say and... The some of the diehard Knights fans would know this guy, Milton Thiday. Jay, you know him, eh? That guy, I he know was, Milton. you know Milton, know yeah. Milton. When he played for the Knights, I loved him so much. I remember actually coming to like a Macca's junior clinic here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. they would get the Knights players, like we get to sometimes do, which yeah. is cool. I actually went to one of those camps when I was a kid. And I was sitting there with Milton Thiday and had like this half an hour chat with him. Yeah. And then he started telling me about the spinning wheel. Yeah. For that they would get for like punishment, so they've oh, yeah, 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 and they yeah, just yeah, brought yeah, that back yeah, in, back that, into that's what we've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So it made me think of him the other day. But then apart from those guys, I love Billy Slater. Well, I was a fullback when I was a kid, so I love Billy Slater, love Ben Barber and Matt oh. Bowen. Oh. Ben Barber's highlights, bro. Bro, hectic. What year was it that Ben Barber had that, that Daly M when season? he won the Daly M? I think it, I think it could have been eleven. 13. I could think it could have been eleven. No, it might have been twelve. I don't know what year it was, it was but fr- it was untouchable. Was, do you remember that uh, they played a game? Not and at then home. Even when they won the GF two thousand sixteen, he was off. His, he was so good. You talk about like I know we we're talking about Turbo before. So you talk about teams that rely on not rely. We shouldn't say that, but like uh, influenced so much by one player, yeah. Ben Barber. Twelve, twelve. It was twelve. Oh, yeah. Ben nice. Barber that year. Jared Hayne the year he took. Thank you, JJ. Barrow that year. Like yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah. That was that was the O nine season. Uh, have, you, have you heard the story about the two thousand nine grand final? Jared Hayne turned up with two right boots. Yeah, I've heard that. Todd Lowry told me this. He got a police escort back to his place. I think it's JT's done that before, John O. To an he's either forgotten or something the, like that. To yeah. the GF. Or to a big game. Can I tell you a quick origin. GF story? When I was in kindergarten, I went in a raffle and I won a family pass to the two thousand five grand final. Tigers versus Cowboys. I seen Benji do the flick pass. Two weeks ago, I versus the Rabbits. I versus Benji. I was about five years old. I went to the grand final, seen him create some of the best magic rugby league's ever seen. I got to verse him 16 years later. That's pretty. How did, did you, you him? those sort of moments? Nah, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you, were you just like, wow, this is mad? Yeah, leading up Not to the, the game, moment. leading up to the game, I was like, this is pretty, 
this is pretty mad. Yeah. I used to go into hair ca- hairdressers and ask for the Benji Marshall cut because <laughs> I used to like the way they'd shape his hair. Yeah, he's still and I used your to hair get, shaped like that. Yeah, <laughs> I do, mate. That's I do. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. The 2006 <laughs> ones, still running it. <laughs> oh, go 20 easy. years later, go easy. You like my hair? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you coming at me for? I could oh, come hey, at you, you for all kinds of hair hey, problems. Hey, um, yeah, you want me to play short off? You want to play this game? Go on then. No, short hair problems. Thin. <laughs> Thin teeth. It's not bad. <laughs> I reckon it's good. Um, yeah, when a player that I know, he played over in um, in France, and this was a similar story to like the police escort. He was actually speeding because he was going to a game once. <laughs> Cops put him over oh, and then yeah. seen who he was. And he's like, I'm running late to the game. He's like, sorry, man, I'm speeding. I'm running late to the game. So then the cop was like, sweet, mate. And he's like, follow me. And then the cop just went off, oh. took off in front of him, and he just followed the cop That in. would be so hectic. Police <laughs> escort. Battles, Imagine battles a police talk. escort. Okay, lastly, we're just going to talk a little bit about the origin. KP, you're... 13 plus. No, 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 no. no. Oh. You're, you're out. You're out? That's, oh, I'm, I'm out, yeah. It's confirmed that you're out? It's... Um, I think it's confirmed. Yeah, it is yeah. confirmed. So... Yeah. Hope so. Hope so. <laughs> well, Breaking yeah. news. Well, Breaking well news. Tonight, nah, it will be. tonight the team list was would have been out for Queensland and you wouldn't be on there, I'd, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. So... <laughs> Interesting. Well, I don't care. What's well, our platform, bro? I want to leak this shit. I'm yeah. a journalist um, in, in a way. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm physically not ready to play. Yeah. Um, mentally there. No, nah, but physically, yeah. So it's been, it's been uh, annoying, like we just spoke about before and earlier, like the whole mental thing. But yeah, not, not ready to play. Um, doesn't, doesn't. I'm not really t- too concerned though because the boys will get up. They'll have a nice little win. What's They'll your, bounce back from last the last game. I know they got pumped. What's your score prediction? Um. How does this kind of play out? What are we thinking, boys? Like, let's be honest. Let's well, no. Nah. So they they got to bounce back mentally. Obviously, they know what, know what to to expect now. Um, New South Wales back three, obviously a big part of their game. What's so they'll sc- take that out of the, the equation early. What's your score, mate? Um, <laughs> What's your score looking like, brother? Um, 54 nil. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 the fact that you're laughing about that, nah, you know that's nah, not going to happen. Nah. It, I, like, I don't know. Like, we, you look at the score lines on games these days. You just can't pick it. I think twenty. I'm going to say thirty-two. Thirty-two, twelve. You know, who's, who's your first try score? Twenty-six. Who do you think scores first? Um. Um. Just whenever I, you're ready. I think. Kyle Felt. Felty. Felt, yeah, kick, kick to the corner. Okay. Man of the match? I th- Kyle Felt for a double. Why not? Put two on his head. Yeah. Nah, Put two on his, he- his head man in of the, the corner there. Is that your man? <laughs> oh, Kyle Felt for... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's your man of the match, mate. Oh, my God. Um, is Harry Grant playing? Do we know? I, saw I think he got today. ruled out. I hope out. he hasn't. He's out. Hemis. Is Hemis. Money for man of the match. Mans. Mundizies. Harry Grant, please play. My Neens. Connor, I same question. Just before we um, get to my score line, you know how Caitlin said you can't predict the score? So the other day, I think it was like 24 zip at halftime. Is that what it was? Oh, rattled. Caitlin was blown up. Man was rattled. I was f- head, was, head was red, right? He's already got yeah. red head. Redder. 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 <laughs> redder. <laughs> It was the reddest. <laughs> the rest, the most reddest it's ever been. It was reddest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was rattled. Yeah, so he was, he was flaming up, right? Yeah. And then uh, tomato reddish. <laughs> <laughs> tomato relish. Tomato relish. Bye, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. That was inside, inside joke. joke. Inside yeah, joke. Inside joke. yeah, and I go to Kalen. I was like, oh, this will probably get the 50. Looks at me, he's so angry. He's like, fuck off, I won't get the 50. And then it actually <laughs> did. Up. And then it actually did. And then after Shut the game, up, you know right. what I did? Right. Um, so I was like, there's a there's a thing here, right? I could I could just be like, oh, I got the 50. That was good yeah, to see. Yeah. <laughs> but I swallowed my pride, right? Because I knew he was upset. Bite your tongue, and I wanted right. to do the good friend thing. So I just I just let let it simmer. And I never brought it up. And then I just, it, yeah, it just worked you out. You boys were on me that night. Yeah. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Oh, mate. Thank Connor, hey, score? You it was so funny. Um, so Jack Johns, you guys oh. who, who listen to the podcast, he's a, he's a funny lad, right? He's a funny man. He's funny in doses. Yeah. And when yes. you're with him for a long amount of time, sometimes his jokes get a little bit old. He might try and 
say too many things and it just it just wears off quick. If you laugh at one of his jokes, he'll just stick with it. Oh, he thinks he thinks he's the funniest bloke ever, and he'll just keep going. Yeah, he won't shut up. Do you want to tell the story from your perspective? Nah, because Connor, you tell Connor, it because it's, it's it. funny when Connor tells it. <laughs> so, uh, Fox has just taken a run, and everyone knows Fox does the that it, that yeah, it, that's, that's it, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. So Jack's done it. He's like, that's it, that's it. And because Jake Clifford is new here, he's like laughing, laughing and we're everything. all laughing because yeah. we like thought it's funny. Yeah. And but Cliff's just going on. So Jack's got this. He's so like he's, he's on top up, of the mountain. foot tall. He, he goes through the roof. He's yeah. got a lot of car- a lot of confidence, right? <laughs> And he keeps going, he keeps going. And it gets to the point, probably like 30 minutes in, and I'm like, Jack, dude, can you just like shut up, man? I'm trying to watch the game. Like, it's funny in that, but, you know, it's getting a bit old. Give it a rest. Yeah. He keeps going, bro. <laughs> Says it again. A little mate over here. And Kalen, red, redish, yeah, just snaps and goes, Jack, you don't always have to fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you just keep going on. It's not even funny. Yeah, bro. And I was, and I was, and then I full stop. Didn't talk. I, I was, I was full legit. And then Jack, like, everyone was like, Oof. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, it was, it was full on. It was like when I was actually serious, but and I feel bad now. Jack, you're a good bloke, man. You can keep keep talking if you want. Man, that's funny. God, in the moment, but it's yeah. funny when you snap. It is. It doesn't is happen eight. often. It is. What do you got for me, man? What's your score, Conzi? I think it's going to be twenty four twelve New South Wales way. You got first try scorer Tommy T. Yep, and I think uh, Tommy T for M O M. Damn, back to back. Yeah, Thor. I actually, you know what I called him the other day on the I radio. Mean, nah. I, I said he was Thanos, right? Yeah, so yeah. he's got all the stones. This is when we versed Manly, and I said where the Avengers were coming to stop him, and we did. Yeah, but hopefully Queensland aren't the Avengers and don't stop yeah. him. No, we are. Never Straight bow out. out to a Queenslander. Here's what I've got, boys: thirty-two-six New South Wales win. Right, Fox scores first try scorer. He didn't score last game. He gets the first one this one. Man of the match, Teddy to score a double. True captain's knock. There we go. That's a little couple of predictions. Well said. Just so well you know, we have- Knock abs- it on the head. Yeah, knock it on the head. Knock it on the head. Not going to happen, right. but- Thanks for listening to our footy chat. Oh, we're going to move M-O-M. on. We're going to talk Queensland. a little bit of first world problems. Take it to the decider. Some first world Queensland. problems. KP, KP, what do you got? I don't even hear. Where'd you, where'd you first world about? problem, what do you got? Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, I was Please. Too I was too Can excited. you give us one, Queenslander? Loud. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Queenslander! <laughs> that is pretty, so bad. That was pretty good. If I was standing, I'm not get full if I was in it. New South Wales and I was standing, no, I heard you say that, I'll go, I'll go, we got him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> what, did the, what did the great Tommy Rodonica say? Cattle dog. How did cattle he say dog, it? He got, he got cattle dog. That's how you say <laughs> The great Tommy Rodonica. One of the best. One of the best. Um, I think my, my, is this his first world problem now? First worlder. I think this has already been brought up. But I, <laughs> if you've stolen this off my sheet, well, 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 what do you got? We'll say it on. You, you go first. Connor's Wi Fi at the moment is bad. Oh, oh bro. And that's legit. Oh. And that is not even my fault. I'm up to date with my bills, too. <laughs> Pay your bills, bro. I don't want to deal with your shit Wi Fi anymore. But you'll be paying on, on, on rent, and now you're trying to. You can't pay the bills for the. <laughs> For the Wi-Fi. Are you paying overs on I'm paying man. overs. It's overs. 500 a week. Is that sweet? No, it's in with you, mate. God. No, it isn't. It's As $500. He's paying $500. <laughs> 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 All right. You go on realestate.com. Don't you, don't you $500 get a week. That gets you like a penthouse. Don't so you, you get away escape free. You pay 200 bucks a week here, don't you? He does. What? And it's been the same fee shit. since he moved in. What? Mate, the real estate hell? in Newcastle's probably doubled in the rental market. What and this place paying $200. He's putting a percentage on it. Oh, if my house goes up in 10%, you're paying 10%. Well, no, that's, not that's actually how it works, though. That's, that's, that's how it does. That's yeah. not that much. That's Matrix. only 220 Matrix. bucks. Nah, but it's moved more than 10%. Yeah. True? Sure? Yeah, yeah, 100. Anyway, 100. so my, my first world problem is Connor not paying his bills. The Wi Fi is <laughs> shit house. Nah, I yeah, hate the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi. I hate the Wi Fi. And every time I come here, I pre record the songs, and usually I don't have the songs saved. So I'm sitting here trying to download the songs so that I can pre record them. And it gives me the shit. I yeah. hate it's it. Annoying. It's annoying. I annoying. hate it. I tell you what else I hate. Oh, what do you hate? hate? Is how hot it is inside of nightclubs. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! I walked in there, and one of the blokes that, I, that was like a fan of this podcast see me. He goes, "Croaks." He, he goes, "The all." He goes, "The all black." I had a black shirt on, black jeans, had a jacket tied around my waist. He goes, "The all black," and I was like, "Yes, mate." But I was outside at the time. Walked in, poof. You know what you do. And this is Bus. Well, you you know where the the aircon is. 
and you, mm. you try and situate I didn't know there was close. aircons in there. There is. Did you learn that last night? Yeah, at the at the Cambridge. Bro, so people in Newcastle. Me. There's a fan, bro, and you just you just go there every every Lad, five minutes. You just me. go have a break. I'll, I'll put your seat there next time. I wouldn't move. And you can just you can. I'll put a table there for you. I'll say reservation for one. Croaks and the aircon. I'll tell you what I was doing. <laughs> reservation for two. Make sure that they have a nice little night. This I was week. walking out to the smokers room just so it was like nice and cool. And there's a tiny little gap where it rains and it was raining last night. It gets through there. And I was just standing there, bro, just ah, like that. <laughs> and then I'd just go to the toilet because it's just so hot, man. I just had to get away. Yeah, it's but I was having so much fun. Yeah, so it's tough, man. It's I was having so problem. much fun. It's a fair first world but problem. But I hate it. It's I hate it. Connor, what else do you hate? I um, Okay, what else did you notice last night being sober? like, um, Yeah. Is it... It's oh, a different vibe, just, just, eh? Just, just when you're when you're sober, things like people bumping into you, like just just a little knock. When you're drunk, you don't care. When you're sober, oh yeah, well you're off. We off it. Get off me. We off it. Bang. 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 Shoulder um, bang. 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 Oh no, glass jaws. Oh no, glass jaws. <laughs> Go be down again. Think of oh, no, no, no. Um, get, the, get the red card. Hey, you, yeah. Uh, what else do you sort of notice? You know, the test like the back of your hand. Yeah. You, you. <laughs> oh no, Chad Townsend's in here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 get him! Nah, get a stretcher. We're, we're, we're joking. We're joking. We're joking. We're joking. Where's the stretcher? Where's the stretcher? I need one. I've just been body. Um, I've been body. Oh. oh. Anyway, right. when you're sober and you're out, you you. You're more observant because you, yeah, yeah. you know you're not you're, in, sober. you're not feeling you're sober. The, yes, exactly. So you, you notice sweat a lot more, you, mm -hmm. yours and other people's. Oh, it's, it's, other people's it's, would be right. It's very, it's overwhelming. It is. Yes, yeah. yeah. smells, smells. Nah, it's I almost dense. The smells. I notice the smells. It's dense. It's, right, it it's is. Like you it can taste in there it, and it's. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was hooching last night. Bro. <laughs> 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 Actually, bro, it, it was hooching. It was hooching. <laughs> Mate. What is that word? Uh, it was hooching. <laughs> oh, I've heard that since high school. Hooching, bro. Oh, and most, the, and the, the, the feet were stuck to the floor, bro. Oh, Doing the high knees to get around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it's and then it's like a big step to get through the air. It's just so hooching, bro. Like that. so was, was, That's and a then, funny word, And then I'm dancing bro. like this. <laughs> so this is how stiff I actually am, bro. Right? Not like to everyone, nah, I'm just struggling to move. This floor is so sticky. But it's oh. actually, I'm just... Oh my god! <laughs> Stiff That's as a board, great. That's great, mate. What was your okay? First, what so what I, hate, what I hate, what well, I hate. Wow, that was fun. I hate phones, man. I hate phones. Huge call. It's a massive, massive call. call, and they're needed, Huge right? And that's I, a, that's I, a I first understand they're needed. Mate. I understand they're needed, but I hate them. Like I looked at my screen time today. Popped up this Yuck. morning. Yeah, five hours, twenty eight minutes, and I was just thought that's almost a quarter of my day yeah. that I've that been out? on my phone. Yeah, how do I find that out? You screen just, time. It should just be in your out of us three. <clears throat> I reckon you you'd have the least, and I reckon nah, I have the most. I used to I used to have the Kay least. Sorry, Kalen's was five hours, forty four minutes. I used to have the least. Oh, Does your have iPhone have the update where you can do that? Or is it too old? <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's a screen? I don't have a screen on my phone. <laughs> He's on the Blackberry. He's on Blackberry. Now, when I was working, I used to have barely anything. But now that I'm back training full time, it, it goes up a bit because I go home and just sort of sit on it. Yeah. Did you um, see Samsung are bringing out a, um, a phone, like the new, it's a flip phone again? What? I know. They're mate, trying to bring mate, it back. Things do that. Things do that. The whole world works like that, right? Yeah. I'll give you a good example. Clothes. Clothes, right? Yeah. So like everyone had sort of the start of clothes to so say the eighties that was just their style, sort of went a bit new school, new school, new school. Now what does everyone want to do? They want to wear vintage clothes. I'll tell you another one. It's like cooking, right? So everyone used to just love cooking at home, and now people loved getting food, take away, take away. But now they want to go back to having home cooked meals. I, mm. They I say love, here, love and I, I've heard this before. Haven't had a home cooked meal in a long time. Jeez, we genius. haven't. Hey, eh? it's hard because we're living. Our house is a podcast set. Yeah, it is. It literally is. Yeah. So yeah. that's what we're doing for no, you guys. No sponsors, we're, we're having to eat yeah. out every night. No sponsors. Can't put food on the, on the, on the table. <laughs> food on the table. <laughs> no sponsors for the podcast. KB's Can't put food on the table. Kevin's struggling. He's got no I'm money. I'm just trying hey. to provide for me and Connor. I'm Kevin's, had to, Kevin's had to pick up a second job. He's rattled. <laughs> 25 <laughs> years, Craig. 25 years fashion works in. Fashion? Yeah. Is that what they say? Cycles of 25 years. And I just come off with that. I didn't know that. Yeah. But I still, I worked it out. Well done, mate. Amazing, mate. Amazing. Thanks, mate. Congratulations, Ra. Thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. 
Uh, Drop me pen. Anyway, we'll jump away from well the Well done first. on the first world problem. That was good. Let's jump into some, it's back. Weekly DMs, it's back. It's back. They were busy. Were they? You oh. go, you go, Connor. Not really. No. Oh, oh, throw, throw off. Throw <laughs> off. No, I hey? had a dig between all my friends and that, you know. Yeah, yeah, Found yeah. a couple. Yeah, good. All right, boys. Did you just get any? Did, are we, are we going to have a, both oh, of you go, contributing? Yeah. Go, Kofi. Well, uh, a week ago, I put, um, I want some healthy treats. Yes. I was said, that, you know, because I'm, I'm sick of eating chocolate. Come on, mate. And like, I'll be like, <laughs> I'm a healthy treat. <laughs> yeah, look, I got a couple, I'm a healthy treat. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Did wow. I reply to them? No. Did I think that that was funny? Yes. yes. Thought that was very Why did you not reply? And smart of them. Arrogant. No, I was, just, I was actually looking for some healthy alternative <laughs> to, to, to put in my fridge. You know, I wasn't looking. That's not where my mind was at that point in time. Hey, hey, hey. Players play, man. Hey. Players play. But I, Any but others? I, but I was lucky enough to get delivered some clean, some treats from Clean Queens. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, they delivered some treats Is for us. Today? So, How much they yeah. cost you, mate? Um, no, well, uh, the, uh, I think they've got a, a price. <laughs> God, what are they called? List. List. <laughs> <laughs> like a list, you know what the prices normally are in. They got a fr- anyway. Their their food, their treats are lovely. They're d- delicious. Scrumptious. I don't know. Hey, let's not le- anyway. Let's not neglect Sandra either. Sa- no, oh I was going to say that too. Goodness. Sandra was cornflake the chip best. cookies. I think we d- we d- shut up. <laughs> shut the the, shut the gate. The best. Uh, Sandra, I think she got even a mention for a cooking on the last. Um, yeah, I think she so did. So she, yeah. she, t- she, she made it on the second well, one. Honestly, once I have one of them, I just cannot stop. They're so good. Mate. But she started making some healthy treats for us, Chris. Yeah, yeah. She dropped them over the other this day. This is where you life- won't, You won't like them, but- Yeah, you won't like them. No, we do that. I mean, on the lips. Clean, clean on the queens. Lips. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> go, go. What, what, what do you got? What do you got? What DMs oh. you got? <laughs> it's not Christmas time, but she asked me, how come you're not on top of a Christmas tree? And I said, "That's I thought that's where angels belonged." Oh, Is that what she said? you know yeah. what? I'm against it. I don't like it because I put a star on top of the Christmas tree. Okay, I don't put an angel on top. What do you do? Yeah, star. Yeah, star. To be honest, either me, way would have worked because yeah. you're a star. Oh, that's she, what I thought she was gonna say. Uh, Kayla and I haven't that's put up a Christmas tree for probably two years. No, that's what I was gonna say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> haven't got Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had Wi-Fi for two years. <laughs> I haven't had a cooked meal for... No, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's there's nothing probably. in the fridge. There is nothing. Nah, well, healthy treats. Healthy, healthy treats. Healthy treats. Treat. Yeah. Uh, clean, clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got, man? What other DMs? Uh, this one is like a, fuck, a backhanded compliment if you've oh. seen one, right? Hey, Connor, are you the red hot chili peppers? Because even though you're old now... <laughs> sorry, let me go that again. Because even though you're old now, I still want to see you in your underwear. I don't get that. Oh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you okay. get it, Jay? Jay, tell me. So, like, you're actually the papers are older now, but like back in the day in the 80s, they used to like throw more photos, big socks over there. Over there, over there, young fellas, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was for a magazine. I think it might have been for. Is that common knowledge? Or was that the point of this DM to be a little bit. A little bit left of field. Yeah, yeah, a little maybe. bit of research. Well yeah. done. She knows I like the chili peppers. She yeah. made you work for it. One more. <laughs> this one I st- actually did took off it? my friend. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Um, Jack Johns, he got a DM the other day. Remember this one? It was a cracker. If Corona doesn't take you out, oh, this was can I? Oh, yeah. And she was a cracking sort too. Good on you, Jack. Yeah, good on you, Johnsy. And yeah. he, 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 re- he replied, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did That's too. all he said. He did I too. know. And then showed us. And then we're like four days later, we're like, Jack, bro. Well, mate, say something sort, else. Sort She's sort not going to reply. Yeah. 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 He so just said to me said? before, he goes, oh yeah, she wants to meet up. I was like, well, mate, you've, you've probably delayed that for two weeks, you Derek. <laughs> he goes, I think he replied, Corona hasn't taken me out yet. Yeah, no, he, like. said, he said, good thing I don't have Corona. <laughs> Oh, and also, anyway. just with uh, Jack, like we'd love, I know everyone always says bring Jack back on the podcast oh, yeah. and we'd love to, but unfortunately the powers that be won't allow that. Yes. And I won't get into too much detail, but yeah, we can't, we can't have him on here. We'd love to have him on I don't want to get sued again. Yes. Again. I know. Yeah. We're hey, big boys. time. We're big time. We're threatening Folks, the anything? Business. Busy? NRL well, player? Be honest. All I've got, boys, are DMs asking about why the 257 page doesn't follow you. <laughs> 
Because they come in abundance. <laughs> they're they abundance. Do. They do. And they, I see they them. They do. And we've explained this. We've got something it's, to No, but it's a bullshit explanation. <laughs> it's not. No. Stop it's saying not. I'm on an it's apprenticeship. Not. It's not. Stop saying no, it's no, not it's anything not to do with your apprenticeship. We, we like to, it's uh, when there's an occasion with like us. This. Yes, we want to make sure that it's well documented no. and made big. But you've built like, it up too much. Mate, it's like a debut. It's like a debut, baby. We want, we want, it's got to be a big case. And what did you just do for my debut? You just posted a photo. That's all I'm saying. No, That's all you need to do. Exactly. Just say, yeah, we'll do that. You just need to post a photo. That man. will happen. That but will this you. is bigger than a debut. <laughs> this is what you dreamt of your whole life, Crooks. Yeah, this is what you've been building for me. Uh, you know what I mean? Anyway. All that work, all that practicing when you're out there on the tools. <laughs> D- doing your re- rehearsing doing your, your lines, lines, rehearsing your lines, <laughs> rehearsing your lines on on your phone, recording yourself, and then listening to it back. <laughs> just, that's just that's go we're easy. <laughs> we're just, just wait, just hey boys. What do you think of this segment? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to say is, so I'm going to say it like this. <laughs> Craig's, all right, Craig's, so boys, first world problems, all right? <laughs> what the? That's but, what. So Crokes used to. Um, what is it? Voice memo? Not yeah, voice memo. Voice yeah. Memo, yeah. So you can send your obviously yourself talking, and Crokes would send me up. All right, boys. So this is how. I'm going to explain it. So I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, yeah. but I might bring it in like this. So, folks, first of all, problems, right? What's, uh, what do you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you just yeah, keep going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mate, that's why. Lucky, lucky I did, or else that sign wouldn't be up oh. there. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just joking. No, no, no. But other than that, Marcus, but other than that, DMs have been dry. Dry. That's a lie. Dry, I said, dry, I s- dry. Is. Seen you, you seen you last night. Very, very dry. Okay, we're going to move on to the top threes. Who wants to, Oh, this week, sorry, I haven't explained what the top threes are this week. This week is, someone sent it in. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Thank you, but <laughs> it is top three. <laughs> that was so, sincere. I'm, so, I'm sorry. That was, that was a real sincere apology. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is top three Sounds songs like from the year that you were born. Yeah. KP, you start. Born 98. <laughs> <Sounds> like me. <laughs> Lauren Hill, do what? You know, you know. Guys, you know you better. Watch out. Some girls, some girls are only. That used to be the NBA song, didn't it? I don't know. Like two years ago? Could have been. Yeah, it was on there. At number two, mate? It's a hard knock life. It's a hard knock life. And at number one? All my life. Go on. I pray for someone like you. And I think twice. <laughs> Connor does this. Uh, Connor, 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 Connor does this. I think <laughs> twice. I pray for someone like you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, for all the people listening, I wish you could see this. I wish you could see it. But I'll tell you where you can see it on K and YouTube. Okay, and, uh, I'll go next. Oh, actually, when we just quickly. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, oh yes, please, 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 please make sure you do so. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us, um, yeah, and go get yourself a KO account because they're the grouse. Yeah, do that too. So there you go. At number three, I've got so my <laughs> year, my year. What? <laughs> you laughing at me or him? KP. What's he's like, <laughs> oh. Okay, so KP, that was that was <laughs> 1998. That was the year you were born, 1998. 23 this year. Mine's 1999. I'm 22 this year. At number three, I've got... Boys, pull yourselves together. Pull yourself together, KP. Come on, mate. We've got a show. Mine, my number three is My Name Is by Eminem. My name is what? My name is what? My name is what? My name is We are... We talked about oh. this the other day. How un- I reckon underappreciated Eminem is now at this point in time. Yeah, because he's the be- he's the best rapper you'd say. Right. We were listening to all his songs the other day in the car. Wow. Oh, Mockingbird. Oh. The storytelling of the man is incredible. At number two, I've got "Learn to Fly" by the Foo Fighters. That's uh, Holiday Connor in full fly, that one. Oh, yeah. And then at number one, this might even be more Holiday Connor, Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know I can play that song on the drums? No, you can't. (laughs) (laughs) And I believed him again. I'm so fucking gullible, eh? Mum, that's the worst thing, like, thing he gave me. <laughs> Being gullible. <laughs> Just like, she's so gullible she? too, yeah. Oh, I've told her a yeah. couple of lies too, as a joke. <laughs> so she probably believes them. 
God, man. I know. Good day. Connor, what do you got, man? Talk to us. First one. In 1996. Oh, yeah, 96. What man. a year, man. I, I was going to make hell. a joke. I was going to make a joke, but I missed the opportunity. I was going <laughs> to say like 83 or something, but I missed it. <laughs> Holy. 96. Uh, 96. 96. Oh, whoa. Holy whoa. shit. <laughs> I met someone last night who was in 86. And I was like, holy fuck, you're old, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> what? So what are you oh, doing in the game, mate? <laughs> Jay, Jay's 87. 87. That's young, 87's young. Yeah. Only nine years older. Jay's young. got a 1986 hat on. Yeah. Holy fuck. Wow. wow. Shit like that happens, man. Crazy, okay, man. Connor, at number three. The Macarena. Wow. At number two. What's the dance to that? Is so you it go boom, 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 boom. Shoulder, shoulder, head, head, hip, hip, swing it around, jump. Do it the other way. And then arena. At number two. No diggity. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I gotta back it up. I like the way you work it. Nice. And then number one, mate. <laughs> She's got class and style. That was good. Right. That was, that was good. actually all right, bro. It didn't sound too bad. And number one. California love. Oh. Great foot in town for California, yeah. Uh. Knows how to party. California. Knows how to party. Man. In the city. City of Compton. <laughs> okay. That's, that's our top threes. Send in your own top threes. I like when people send them in. And send in other ideas because I might be running a bit dry on ideas. <laughs> nah, you don't. <laughs> I'm just joking. I've got heaps, I've got heaps of shit going up there. Yeah, no, no, don't. A little bit don't of audience advice. A little bit of audience advice. Boys, you got anything? All right, I'll finish. I'll go. I've got to enjoy the little things. Yeah. Oh, oh just enjoy them. 100%. The best, man. The best. Connor, mm. what do you got? I actually heard someone on that. So, you know, uh, looking into the future. People always, you know, about what their dreams are, but yep. the moment they're actually in is the most important. Yeah, exactly. So, but my one. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Can I just tell him? Don't worry, I forgot it. You go. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had something. Yeah, mine was, mine was going to be better than that too, but I forgot it. Yeah. Like how it actually was said, but it was about not looking too far ahead, just enjoying what's yeah, happening yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. But my advice is that true happiness comes from within. I like I like so it. we actually just discussed this at dinner and that's where it come to me. So external objects don't fill the void, right? They're a short-term fix. So if, it, if you have to go and spend 10 minutes with yourself a day to see where you're at, find out more about yourself, spend some more time with yourself and then once you are truly happy with that person, external objects don't actually matter. I like it. Can I just, I remembered it. So you were talking about trying not to live in the past or the future. To live in regret is to live in the past. And to be anxious is to live in the future. So just live in the moment. You wow, get it? Because if you're regretting something, you're regretting something that you've done, which is in the past. Yep. So you can't change it. Can't change and it. if you're anxious, you're anxious about something that's going to happen, which is the future. Mm. It's a very, so just, that's so a just very, live in the moment. It's a very Buddhist quote. Be present. Be present. That's Thank what you. they're about, like yeah. just being present. Yeah. I've got um, find a morning routine that makes you happy and Ooh. helps you in the day and just do it every day. Like that's that. A, I think... Um, I think it ties in well with the, the mental health and definitely what you do, Connor. Well, uh, still kind of do now, but you, you did focus on it quite heavily there for a bit. But yeah, I th like it's just as simple as going for a coffee mm. with your mates. Yep. Wake up a little bit earlier, sacrifice like 20 minutes of sleep. It's worth it. To go get a coffee. It's worth it. It is, 100%. Worth it. it is a. Eh? It is, mate. Just get it out is. of bed, man. It is, bro. It's worth it. It's. I tell hard, you what. Bro. I tell you what. When you're 80 years old, you go, "Geez, I, mate, I wish I would have got out of bed a bit earlier." Geez, done 20 few, minutes helped me, eh? Done a few more things. I wish I'd done a few more things. That's a, that, that, mate, what you just said then is going to going to change my life. Have no regrets, bit. bro. Have no regrets. My old man says it to me all the time. Do you when you're 80, going, I wish I slept more. No, no I mean. way. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, look, I get what you, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was you a rhetorical wish, question. That was rhetorical. Yeah. 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 I wish I did yeah. more shit. Yeah, exactly. I, I woke up and got coffee with me, mate. Exactly right. KP? <clears throat> I know you liked it, so I'm not even going to ask the question. If, if <laughs> 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 like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> comment on our stuff, share it, share it to friends. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And get on KO too. Thank you.